Let's go. Welcome back to another episode of Dan Geesing Beats The Walking Dead. And when we last left off, we just killed Lee because he couldn't pull off that Olympic long jump. So let's see if we can... We're going to take another crack at it here. No pun intended. Okay, so now we're on a roof. Do you ever stop complaining? Come on. So we have the battery. She has the battery. She has Hilda. We're going to bring the battery back to the high school. Come on, what are you, chicken? Jump! We're not what chicken, did you call sir. Me? Well, now that you mention it. Okay, get your cursor out. Get your cursor out. We got no cursor. <laughs> Come on. Having so much, so many cursor problems. Okay, so now we're on a roof. Let's give her a new answer this time. Come on. Nice launch, sir. Come on, what are you, chicken? Jump. I don't know about this, sir. Come on. There it is, grab it. We grabbed it! Come on. <laughs> we grabbed it. This Lee Slaughter Fest. Get that, so get the cursor roof. ready. Do you ever stop complaining? Come on. I like that second answer better. Man, she just jumps like a freaking Spider-Man. That's why she's the Red Ninja. Come on, what are you, chicken? Jump. I don't know, sir. Don't know. Give us our cursor. Come on, cursage. We grabbed her hand. Thank you. Okay. She has that brute strength. What's going on in here, sirs? Come on. Later. Something I gotta do first. What? Catch you later. Wait, you still got the battery. Give us the battery. Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Where are you going? Oh. Sure. Damn it, what the hell is she doing? Let's go check on Dr. V before we check on Clem. You guys you get guys it done, sir. Help? Thanks, but I think we're almost in. We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. All right, back off then, tracksuit McGee. Let's go check on our girl. I, she freaking better still be there. No kidnapping, nothing out of sorts. Little help! Little help here! What the hell? <laughs> Smash him! Head smash! Smash! Fuck! The doors won't close all the way! Please do something! Put your mouth in a pistol. We got it. Break the door with something! Get the hatchet! Come on! We're getting smoked! These past three episodes, we've been getting utterly destroyed. The doors won't close all the way! Put your mouth on a pistol, sir. We got it. Break the door with something. Grab it. Put it in, sir. Slide it. The hatchet. You damn well better. There's so many of them. We gotta go, sir. You got the fuel. Let's not start high fiving each other just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. All right, Let's Kenneth. These fuel cans. They weigh a goddamn ton. We got you, sir. As we casually walk. Where's Clem? Okay. You're back. Yeah, and we made out pretty good too. Great work, Kenny. <laughs> ben, How you doing with that door? Ben dishing out the high not fives. So good. Here, let me give you a hand. Did you get that battery yet? Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. Talk to Bree. Bree? Bree hey, Cheese, Lee. what's up? Thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without you. No problem. We're all on the same team. About Crawford. 
How long have you known Vernon, sir? How long have you known Vernon? A couple of years. He ran our support group. He was really great helping me come to terms with my disease. But how do you come to terms with something like this? With a place like Crawford? I don't know what I or, or the other survivors would have done without Vernon. Are you He's the one who held us together. Vernon. Us alive. Vernon's the glue. Your cancer so you're survivor, a cancer sir. Survivor. Like Vernon and the others. Yeah, I was diagnosed when I was in college. Been getting treatment ever since. Just when I was starting to get better, when I thought there might be some hope, all this happened. How come she's all nicey nice now? Family. I'm the only one who survived. Funny how things work out, huh? About Crawford, sir. About this whole Crawford situation. I'd rather not talk about it. Too many awful memories. Even being back here gives me a bad feeling. Even now, with everyone dead? I got no sympathy for what happened to these people. There she is. They weeded out the sick and the old. Even children. Those least able to defend themselves so that they could save their own skins. Whatever happened here, however Crawford fell, I can that see That accent coming justice. into play. Damn, girl, that's cold. That's how I feel. If you'd seen what I seen, you'd feel the same. Lee. We gotta get going, I'm sis. a little busy here, Lee. Maybe you should go get that battery or help with the medicine. Let's talk to Clem real quick. See how she's doing. You okay, Clem? Yeah. Where's Molly? She had to go run an errand. She'll be back soon. I hope she's okay. She'll be fine. She's Clem tough. likes the red ninja. Just sit tight, okay? I need to go take care of a few things. All right. All right, let's go get that medicine then, I guess. As long as it's not Walker City out there. Quickly, Lee. We gotta move. We gotta move, sir. Just taunting him with the smell of fresh Lee. Shit. Oh. Kristen Vernon must be trapped in there. Shoot him, sirs. Oh, we gotta shoot him quickly. Let's go. No wasted bullets. What the hell happened? They wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. Rooting the whole around. The place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. Get your we'll medicine and get out of here. What about the meds? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Keypad? Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe. Locked up tight. Can we bust There's it open, no sir? can bust it open? Maybe with enough time. But I don't know how much of that we have. Be a hell of a lot quicker if we just knew the four-digit combination. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Oh, we'll find okay, it. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. We'll find it, don't you worry about it. What Lee finds this? everything. A copy machine. Not that it matters with no power around here. Can we open it up? No. Just a bunch of papers. No safe combination, though. Look at the phone, sir. Phones probably haven't worked in months. Maybe we look at the numbers that have been pushed. Looks like some kind of medical file. Grab it, sir. Anna Correa. Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? Combinations on the tape. <laughs> See how easy that was? Not working. What else do we have? Anything else back here? Sonogram. What's this on the floor? It's a sonogram. 
grab it, sir. Open camcorder. Let's watch this tape. No tape inside. Is there battery juice? We got juice. Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547. Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. That's interesting. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Lori. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. Oh. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these but are the rules. What a nurse with a gun. I'm going to give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure. Oh, he typed I the code in. Baby. I can't do this. I can't do this. Anna, you don't have a choice. What are these moral now, if you like, you can strong take some time issues they this, put in this game? I need you to come back no later than tomorrow, or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. He's putting the code in. Damn it. We almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search it. See what he's got on him. We gotta go back, huh? There's nothing else. I'll have to take time to rest later, I think. We should shoot the safe. Do you think shooting it open would work? Only thing that would accomplish is getting us all killed. So, no, I don't. That's it, huh? What else we got in here? Drawers. Y'all already checked these drawers? Yes, Lee. Nothing in there worth taking. First aid kit. Uh, already cleaned out. Blood. Hmm. Doesn't look like there's anything else around here, sirs. How's it coming? Slow. Too slow. I'm worried that by the time we manage to get this thing open, it may be too late. About well, Molly, sir. Get the battery we needed. That's great. One down. Where is she? She took off. Had some kind of errand she needed to run. Took off? With the battery? That's right, sir. Yeah. Don't worry. She'll be back. I hope so. That girl doesn't really strike me as a team player. More the mercenary kind. <laughs> Let's get out of here, sir. see if I can find something that'll help us get that safe open. We don't Good care idea. about Omid right now. Alrighty. We go back to the, the walker body. Keep our eyes open. Oh, was, did, was one of these guys we shot? Or is it back in the alley we gotta go to? Back in the alley. Go, sirs. Let's go get that combo. It's gonna be dangerous, though. So, uh, what do we have? A pistol? We need that hook. We need Hilda. Hilda the hook. Go, sir. Climb that shelf one more time. Oh god, what the hell? Smash him! Climb! What the heck? What the hell just fell? Oh, did we throw something at him? What was it? 
jump, sir. Look at him. It's gonna pay the ultimate price. Stomp him! Always sounds like a better idea than it actually is. Search him. Come on, Lee. There it is. The tape. This might be just what we need. And what's this? Looks like some kind of code. But Vernon said the safe combination was only four numbers. Oh, that was that locker. Shit. Time to go. Nice. I like that it warped us back there. Strong to quite strong. Little did we know that's Logan's locker combination. Logan. This must have been his locker. Open it. Got it, sir. And we're going to find out the combination of the safe in the next episode of Dan Geesing Beats The Walking Dead. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, you can let me know by hitting the like button below. And if you're new to the channel, I'd encourage you to subscribe so you're notified the next time a video is released and you can subscribe by hitting the button below as well. I'll see you guys next time when we find out magical combination for the magical tapes. See you guys later.